What's going on, guys? This is another story for Iowa. And this time, this happened at Drake University. And I'm getting this story from the advice show. Uh, shout out to Phil Scott on the advice show. If you can't read this clearly, it's because some high IQ white person wrote it. And they said to this black student, they slipped under his door and said, Dear Porch Monkey, we've decided that we no longer want you on our campus, which means you need to leave. So, Dear Porch Monkey, we've decided that we no longer want you on our campus um which means you need to leave or else and then you know if any white person heard this story they'll be like oh i'm pretty sure he didn't mean it like that and i'm pretty sure that's how he meant it no so this kid should be really afraid for his life and I, he took it to the dean and you know they did the typical uh bs apology oh we don't condone this type of behavior or anything the students were not punished and they're not going to be punished This is what it means to be light, to be white and privileged in America. That you can even write death threats and all that stuff to another group of people, particularly black people. It's always black people, and you could get the way away with it. Now, when I upload this story, I usually you guys don't know how many white trolls that I deal with. Some of them even call in here, call me the N word and all that stuff, and I end up shutting them down by using other racial slurs towards them, and basically scientific facts against them and all that stuff because they swear they're superior but they're not and you know don't ever let any of them browbeat you into feeling shame about speaking about racism or anything like that and don't ever let them try to demean you or anything like that or call you any derogatory names and all that stuff because it's all just um uh to break your moral and make you feel less and when we're when we're actually more than them Hold on a second, guys. Let me check something out. Okay. I listened to more of the story from the Avai show. They said this wasn't the first act that happened. They, he said inside of an elevator, they drew a swastika, which is really more offensive towards Jewish people. But the, remember, the Germans of that time, Hitler, he hated black people too. If you remember when Jesse Owens proved to them that he wasn't no Aryan supremacy and all that bullshit they were spewing. But when Jesse Owens who was a black American, gave them the biggest L. He was so mad, Hitler, that is, that he didn't even stay back to shake his hand. And even if he stayed back, he probably wouldn't shake his hand anyway, probably because he was a, a black dude. Now, even though Hitler did hit Jew, hit, hate Jews more, but he also hit, uh, hated um, the black people. But, you know, in another student, they drew racial slurs and a swastika and an elevator and all that stuff. So, And it was mostly to target a, um, a first-year black um uh, student. Now, here's the thing. A lot of you might come in here, black people, be like, oh, not all white people are bad. Not all white people are racist. Okay, but they all do benefit from the system of white supremacy. Trust me when I say that. Because even the good ones, they won't truly speak out and throw uh, the, uh, the, the bad ones under the bus. So that makes them complacent with them. You can see it in the news media and everything. Every time they do something, it's mental illness, this, mental illness, that. But as soon as a black person, they go into our history, something we did years ago, call us thug and all that stuff, and just trying to reference us in a bad light. Could show the 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 ugliest, I mean, not ugliest, but like the picture, uh, a picture of us when we like probably didn't even look right. Maybe hair wasn't done or anything like that. But if you remember that, if that gaming shooting thing, that Madden thing, I wasn't doing stories around that time. That white kid that shot. Killed True Boy uh, and then uh, someone else, uh, another white guy. Remember, they used his prom picture, and then they say he had mental illness. This shit is sickening me, and it keeps happening each and every single day. And that is because Donald Trump is in office. They feel as if they're Superman and Superwoman. Do not ever let them come up to you and disrespect you like that. Do whatever you gotta do to defend yourself. Don't attack. Defend yourself. As always, keep your head on swivel, um, stay in groups, don't venture into unknown areas, and, um, you know, exercise your Second Amendment right. You guys let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you in the next video. I got more stories to come.